What's up, tech friends? Welcome back to the Tech of Tomorrow channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host. Today, we're going to do the unboxing and features review of the new Corsair AX1200i. That's right. This is a 1200 watt power supply from the people over at Corsair that features lots of new cool stuff, including all digital power, super high end components, and it's completely, totally modular and features its new Corsair Link technology. So without any further ado, let's jump in and let's see what this new product from Corsair is all about. <laughs> All right, folks, so here we can see we have the Corsair. This is the Professional Series Platinum Edition, which means it's 80 plus platinum, the best you can actually get. Got the power supply right here, the nomenclature. Here are some of the features down here. Digitally controlled power, quiet, efficient operation, fully modular. I'll flip it around real quick just to let you guys see the back of the box. There's not really too much to the back of the box. Seven year warranty, always good. If the camera wants to jot down and focus in on this real quick, this is the nomenclature if you want to buy this online. You can find this power supply for about $340 over on Newegg, a little high on other places right now. Right now that's the cheapest you can get it, I believe. I'm going to flip the box back around and we're going to flip the top and it's going to be a little bit more. So right up here, these are talking about the different cables, your 24 pin, 28 pin, 6 six plus two, 16 SATA, 12 peripheral or Molex and floppy. Now, to talk about brilliant design, and to be honest with you folks, I need my glass to read this stuff because it's really small, but it basically just talks about this fully modular power supply, makes it easy to install, and you guys all know that. For you folks out there who like fully modular, you're gonna really like that. The digital controls are something totally new about this all high quality components, but let's actually look at it now. So let me go here to the side of the box. Oops, I'm going to need a, I'm going to need a knife. All right, well. I cannot find a knife anywhere, so I'm going to see if I can do it with a musical pick. That's right, and a musical pick, unbox it. Nope, well, there you go. Get it there. All right, then I think I can get this off now. A little little finger scrape here instead of using the uh, usual tactics of my knife since uh, this room I didn't have any knives in and the cameraman he was too scared to go get a knife afraid I'd throw it at him so I'm just forced to you know go with the program so inside we can see it's nice and red like a Christmas present Woo! -hoo! Merry Christmas Merry Christmas and to all a good night pull it out of there put the box off the other side has that new car smell so check it out got a, another seal right here in the box so have the camera zoom in on there let me set it down actually maybe you can even see it better so there's the seal right here so before i even can do the unboxing i have to break another seal so multiple seals and that's pretty much it so i'll go ahead and break the seal i'll grab a pen from over here i think this time to break the seal and give it a quick little run through like that not really working the best. Uh, see, now the first time I go, I do my unboxing without a knife. I need a knife, but oh, there's other computer parts. There we go. Ah, see, a USB charger works also as a cutting tool if used properly. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. I am a doctor, so just pull the end right here, cap the box open. Lots of good stuff in here. Start off with a cable. This is a very, very well-made cable, very thick construction, no cheap design here. This is made for high wattage applications, a little bit different than your standard. Set that off the side. Something in a silver bag. Hmm. Should we leave this as the guest bag, folks? All right, you guys guess what's inside. No, I'm just kidding. I'll open it up here, even though, once again, I don't have a knife. And, uh, I keep running into this problem. Oh. My teeth seem to be working, so I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, oh. rip the strip here. Ah, okay. Corsair Link. This is the digital link to the computer. This is one of their main features. The camera to zoom in on that real quickly. Connection right here.
Here's the warranty guide. Just more paperwork. The Professional Series Digital ATX Power Supply. This is the manual. It's in English, French, Dutch, Italian, Spanish, and hey, I'm not even going to touch that one because I'll say it wrong and somebody will correct me. It's in, a, in, in one of those possibly Russian, but hey, I don't want to get killed. So just a bunch of different stuff in here. It talks about the power supply. Still, once again, we see all the different breakdowns of all the different cables that are included in this. Here we see the power supply efficiency. You can see it has a very low drop-off curve, which is why it's rated as a platinum. Now, in addition right here, it shows the Corsair Link, the USB dongle. It also says there's a Corsair digital interface cable. I didn't see that, but that's probably in there somewhere as well as we get to it. But I'm not going to go all the way through the manual, but you guys can see it's a very detailed manual. Here are going to be all the cables. These are mounting equipment right here, screws, zip ties. There's even, hmm, ah, we got the Corsair little case badge in there. Now, this is what everybody's really going to want to see, the cables and this. I know, folks, I try to give you guys a thorough as unboxing as possible. Now, this thing comes in a nice bag, just like you're buying a bottle of brandy. But no, it's of course their power supply. Do not drink and drive. I mean, well, you know what I mean. Let's pull that out of there. Uh, okay, so the box fell in the background. Uh, I blame it on the cameraman. Let's go ahead and just take this out of the plastic sheathing here. So let's just start off. Let's start off by a side view. The AX1200i, very clearly. Nice mesh design, on off button. You guys obviously know it's where the power goes. Set it down. Here's the back side. Cameron can zoom in there so you guys can see all that. A little closer. And I'll flip it around so you guys can see the side. One more side, Oop, one more side. Here we see the back where the fan is at. All right, so now let's take a look right here, which really is the most important part. Here's the COM port. So I believe this COM port, let me take a look here, see if it matches this. That doesn't match that. Well, there's a COM port right here. I thought it would have actually been for this particular cable. Maybe it's for a different cable. I'm trying to see this, where this other cable is. Maybe we haven't got that far yet. Here's a self-test button. Most power supplies do not have this at all. This is something I've never seen on any other power supply, so totally thumbs up to these guys. Completely modular all the way around. So you guys out there who are totally fetish freaks about that, this should totally please you. You can have a little fapping time here over this. So I'll go ahead and get this out of the way and then we'll take a look at the cables. We've already explained, you know, what it was. There was 16 of this, 16 of that. So your ATX power. Eight pin. Let me try to break them into little batches here so we can see these things here, folks. Let me try this for you a little better here. A lot of stuff in this unboxing. And so I'm going to try to get this a little more better separated for you folks. We can see it better. Let's see here. All right. So check it out, folks. Here are all the connections. You've got enough for a quad SLI, triple SLI, anything you want. Remember before we said there were six of one and two of the other, so a total of eight connections. So we have two, four, six, eight of those. Here we see all the SATA. Then we have, oh, sorry, here's one more SATA. So there were a total of four SATA connections with four connections each. That was 16 total there. Sorry about that, folks. Here goes all the Molex. So you have plenty of Molex connections all the way around. Finally, earlier, remember I showed you guys the Corsair link, the digital link, and I said that it's probably a little COM port plug. Well, I finally found that plug. That plug is right here. So that plug goes into there. You can hear Buddy walking around now, and this thing's going to go, and this will sit. It has a connection right here. 
and this is your connection. So this is your digital connection. I don't know if you guys can totally see that. I'm trying to get it all plugged in here and get it into the camera range. Let me try to get it all plugged in here. So there we go. That's plugged in. So here you go. Exactly how this works too. I'll tell you when we build it in the system because we're definitely going to be building an awesome system with this power supply. So have no fear. Uh, thanks to Rick over at Coursera for providing this stuff. We'll get you a full written review and a case build and everything else with this in the future. But thanks for watching the unboxing and first features look of the new AX1200i from the people at Corsair.